I swear to you, we were like two blocks from the hotel. Maxon barfs in the backseat, which is rare because he never throws up. What's up, guys? Okay, so I just survived my second vacation as a family of four. Um, We wanted to take one more trip with the twins while they were still under the age of two and could fly for free, essentially. So we flew southwest to Denver. Uh, Michael and I are trying to visit more cities in the U.S., Um, that we've never been to and so Denver was at the top of our list and we went with the kids we flew southwest we crossed our fingers hoping that we would get the middle seat on the flight there because we were hoping that the flight wouldn't be full and that completely backfired um, on us because at the end when it was all packed and one person had to sit in the middle we couldn't all fit in the same row because there's only four oxygen masks to a row of three seats Michael had to move to an aisle we ended up being separated on the flight there We survived. It was fine. Moving on. But we get to Denver and it's beautiful. Um, The car rental process was pretty smooth, but there was like a little bit of a wait period, which was fine. They had like a cute lobby and whatever. Um, And so we get in the car. We start driving. We get to the hotel. It's about a 30 minute drive. Five minutes. Not even five minutes. I swear to you, we were like two blocks from the hotel. Maxon barfs in the backseat, which is rare because he never throws up. I caught most of it in my hand and I had like chunks of barf all in my wedding ring, which was like a great way to kind of just like, uh, you know, approach the hotel. So the valet opens the door and they're like, how can we help you? We're like, well, we have barf all over us. So just give us a minute. Um, he was fine. He just got a little car sick because I think I don't want to bl- I don't want to point fingers, but Michael was braking too much. I'll just leave it at that. And he's saying that it was like, you know, he didn't understand. He, the brakes on the car were really sensitive, blah, blah. But you know what? It could have happened to me, too. So I'm not going to point fingers, even though I just did. Anyways, we didn't really have a plan except for to maybe go to the downtown aquarium in Denver and go sledding. And that was all we wanted to do. So we got to the room. We were exhausted. We were hungry. We just ate dinner and we fell asleep that night. The next day, we had a full day of sledding, which the hotel recommended this awesome place. It was only like 30 miles, 30 minutes away. Beautiful perfect hill lots of families everyone was just sledding everyone was like nice nobody was kind of trying to like you know get in your way or anything like that the kids loved it Maxon actually I take that back Aza loved it Aza and Maxon loved sledding Maxon did not like the snow I know that sounds weird but he just did not like the feel of it even though I had their feet covered their hands and gloves their whole body in like a full-on snowsuit he I think a little bit of snow got into his ankle area and that was it like he was in a cranky mood for the rest of the day and so or for the rest of the time sledding which wasn't that long to begin with it was like we were there for 30 minutes we got back to the downtown area had some lunch walked around we went to the aquarium later in that evening Aza slept through the entire thing pretty much they had some crazy mermaid show which I've never seen before where the mermaids were actually talking underwater um and it was intense it was kind of weird but entertaining nonetheless we were about to be almost done with the aquarium Aza wakes up and then Michael felt bad and he was like well let's just go do it again so that she can see it which I was like why but we did so anyways we went back through the aquarium so Aza could see what she missed minus the mermaid show because they weren't showing that anymore and that was it it was the shortest trip but the longest trip all in one I couldn't even imagine getting up another day and doing a full day with the twins because they were just a lot of work so um we'll see if we can do like another longer vacation I guess down the road on the flight back we panicked and bought an extra seat so they could have the full row and that was the best decision that I think we made on this entire trip because then we were just like relaxing and spread out and it was super nice but that was it it was a short little Denver trip so shout out to Denver it was awesome I'm sure we will be back and actually I want to ask you guys um when was your first experience or do you remember your first time being in snow because Technically, this was the twins' second time being in snow, but not really, because the first time was last year we went to Big Bear and there was like zero snow. We had to drive to like just find a patch of dirty, muddy snow in like a park somewhere that was in like the shaded area because there was no snow when we went. So it was so nice to see them in just piles and piles, feet and feet of fl- like fluffy snow. What was your first experience? And or what was your first experience traveling with your kids for the first time? Because everybody was just like, high-fiving us saying like I can't believe you guys are just like you know I remember when my kids were that age you guys are crushing it blah blah blah. so we got we got through it we survived it Um, but it's hard traveling with kids is no joke all right guys until next time